Hello. Well, now uh, this is again Glenn Langston from the National Science Foundation, and we're about to start uh, making our uh, our horn telescope for gathering Milky Way signals. So I've actually this is a little ruler that is in centimeters. You can use whatever ruler you want. It's an aficionado uh, ruler that we we made with the uh, with a with an a, a SMA wrench on it. Um, 3D printed. And so we want to actually build this telescope in the manner that was described by um, Steve White, who did some numerical modeling of what was optimum if you're going to use a simple thing like a, he used a stovepipe, but this is close to the same size. It's a little bit bigger um, in diameter instead of six inches is what he was starting with. This is six and a quarter, three quarters inches, but it's still um, the accuracy for um, radio astronomy is is basically a 20th of a wavelength. Now, a wavelength is about that distance. It's about eight inches, which is that spanning in my hand. So it turns out that, you know, a quarter of an inch is not too much of an of a of an error for for putting together a radio telescope for 21 centimeters, which is the length wavelength of the thing. But we may as well try to do a reasonably good job. So I I measure. See this bucket has an indentation in it, and we want to have the uh, feed probe, which uh, is right here somewhere, which we we want to have that to be exactly uh, seven and a half uh, centimeters from the bottom of this bucket. So we, since it's a half a centimeter from here, we basically can just uh, um, measure from the from the top here, I go tilt the telescope this down a little bit. And so it happens that my ruler has an eight centimeter mark. So which is the end of the ruler, which is convenient. So I'm going to put, put start a hole right here at the end. And I'll just put a mark there. And that's where we're going to do our first drilling. Now, sort of a practical, I guess it's hard for you to see it, but it is, it is there. Um, and, uh, anyway, I can see it, um, and you'll see it when I uh, uh, put the drill, when I make the hole. So you start with a what's called a pilot hole. We want a, a three quarters of an inch hole um, uh, um, drilled, but instead of, I mean, a one quarter inch drill, but I'm going to use one eighth to start off with. And I'll just, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to do because this is thin metal. So that's the start of the of the feed probe. So we're trying to get this particular thing inside this bucket. And so now I take the one eighth inch uh, drill bit off. And now that we have a using a smaller drill bit, so it gives you more control. And, uh, so probably uh, so I'll just there we go. <laughs> that's. Doesn't look like much control, but nonetheless it is. So now um, that's that's the entire, the only thing you're gonna need the drill for. So you can put that away now. Um, and uh, so we have, this is a um, an SMA connector and these are always nine sixteenths. And so I have a wrench exactly nine sixteenths for work with this uh, connector. Now um, we, we want to be able to leave our telescopes out day and night so we can make discoveries and uh, sort of map the sky and map the Milky Way. Um, so we, uh, I'm going to put this in first without the container on it, just to give you the idea of what, what it's going to look like. So this is the, of course, the inside of the bucket. And I, if now, if things have gone right, I, it's exactly in the right spot. I will now, this is going to, the, the feed is going to be exactly inside. And this is going to be all that you can't see it, um, is sticking out. I'll tip down a little bit more. Um, so sort of there it is. So this um, this is going to be what we attach the, the amplifier to inside of a plastic container to keep the amplifier dry, to keep it from shorting out. So in the uh, I showed you that the one that was completed, we actually use just this something like this, a simple um, peanut butter jar. We don't need the top at all, really, for most of the construction project. Um, and we actually do need, I, I lied to you about not uh, needing the uh, um, 
drill again because we do have to put a little two more holes in this um, in this lid. One at about an inch and the other one at about a half inch from the edges. So I um, have, and I can do that in of course in um, with this ruler and in centimeters. So two and a half, I'm actually gonna go with two centimeters for the hole that's going to be used for the, um, the amplifier and about a, a, a little bit shorter opposite for the, um, uh, for the connector where we're going to be putting the signal that goes in and out of the this little container. So I've got uh, <laughs> my marker is sort of this is a little damp and it's fighting it, but um, it's still so, so basically again we go back to uh, this is this plastic is a little fragile. It's not it's pretty tough. I mean obviously you can drop it and it'll do just fine. Um, we want to go back from the um, from the quarter inch, it's again, everything is gonna be exactly a quarter inch, final hole size, but um, we will, um, so now this is down here and I'll just, so simply, simply put the, so this is the one where the amplifier is gonna go. So it has to be further from the edge so the amplifier doesn't touch the side. There we go. I'm doing this on just a piece of scrap wood and the signal is going out and the power is coming in on this one that's smaller and it needs to be closer to the edge. So I just drill that power hole. And so that's of course easy to do in plastic. And then I simply um, put the quarter in there. Obviously you can do this probably, um, it's easiest to do it. Oops, and I did that too. I actually, <laughs> I showed you what I shouldn't have done. I, so when you're drilling in to the plastic, you actually want to set this for reverse. So it actually, um, and actually slow it down. Um, so I will do that now. So it instantly goes through and backwards. Okay. So there we go. So now, so there's the two holes we have in this. Um, so that's also not too bad. <laughs> I guess I should, it's good, but bad that I showed you how not to do it. Um, so now we, we do want to add a little bit of strength to this. Um, and we do that in two ways. Um, actually we, the holes are not completely. So now I, I have to go, I'm going to go in from the other side and, and clear that out a little bit. So that's Just to get rid of the excess stuff. So again, these are the reason where there's quarter inch is because these SMA connectors are a quarter inch. So now um, I'm going to use this. We need to keep the, the interference from every human object like laptops and um, phones or the primary things you'll have to work against if you're working in a public venue because everyone's going to have a phone. And so what you do is you simply coat this plastic container with uh, this metal tape. This is muffler tape, and it's actually really easy to work with, which is good. Um, and uh, it's sort of, it's easy to get a portion of it. And so you just want, you don't need much of it. You just simply need to cover the whole container. So after I do the middle where I put the holes, I'll just do this side and then pull it over. That will be all you need. Now, you'll, um, I want to do both sides, um, inside and outside, just to add that little bit more strength. But I'll uh, poke the holes again because I've actually found that it's hard to find the holes again after you've covered it with this metal tape. There you go. So this goes down over that. So now, so you can obviously see the places where we're going to go through again. Put this in here. So now I have two cable connections. So now um, I'm actually going to do the signal goes outside of this first. Again, this cable, this is um, 
a high quality cable. You have to be careful about the cable. I will put a list of cables that you can use. It needs to be a high frequency cable because the signal that from communications like FM is 15 times lower frequency. So it's much um, lower, um, much more loss in the, in the cable when you put it at higher frequency. Uh, I um, realized I didn't, oh, I did, good. So um, let me move this back up for a second. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I just have to get the, the uh, there are ties on this uh, 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 cable. And I'm going to stop in a minute because I want to break this video up into pieces so that it's more YouTube chewable. But I'll, I'll get the, to the point. So you take this, um, this little nut off of the, this cable. And with this is what's called the this is the female end of the cable, um, and we put that into the hole that's closer to the edge. Actually, we actually put a washer in first, which is right here, it's sort of just to give a little bit of strength to the um, edge where we're putting this together. So I add that washer, and I add the into the closer hole. So it fights it a little bit, but it goes in. And then you add the locking washer and the, um, to the nut, which is again a 5 16 nut. And oopsie, sorry that you're not showing you this. Um, but this is how it uh, goes together. So now you, you've essentially got the signal uh, escaping the, uh, this, this RF shielded thing. And I, I use the 5 16 wrench and this you can tighten as much as you want there's not any it's uh fairly tight so you just keep the water out okay so that's the first phase of this i'm going to keep these um this is actually fairly long so i'll stop now and then continue in just a second <laughs> 